What's up guys, it's Paul from Apple Fan here and I've been trying to do this video for a while. We've just realised in the studio there is ants. I have ants. Ants, 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 ants. So yeah, so look, there's been a big leak. GTX 1180. Leaks, 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 leaks. About specs now, I don't know how true this is, but it looks true to me. It looks exactly like what I thought it was going to be. I didn't think that it was going to be a much of an upgrade. I said it in my last video. I said it's going to be really expensive and it's not going to be much of an upgrade. That's what I said. That's what I that's what I promised you. That's what I think it's going to be. I don't lie. I tell you the truth. I watch history and then make my decisions based on history. So let's just look at what the specs are. I'm going to open it up so I don't make any mistakes. I'm going to read it out quickly to you and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it like I always do. And then we're going to hit it up for comments in the comment section and we'll talk about it after the video has been posted. So the most important thing is this GT... 104 so 104 tells you that's not the largest die gt tells you that is it is it is uh touring the t tells you that it's touring so people were right about that touring leak uh it's going to be 400 millimeter squared tells me it is either not big enough or they haven't saved enough that it's it, well it's sorry it's not small enough to be more efficient because they, they've only got 3584 cuda cores in there so they haven't saved as much space as you think they would and they haven't got any more CUDA cores in there. Uh, TMUs, 2224, uh, ROP64, core clock, 1600, boost clock, 1800, teraflop, peak teraflops is 13 teraflops. Excuse me, memory interface is 256 bits, which doesn't make a difference. It doesn't need a very big memory, memory interface because it's using gddr5 gddr gddr6 uh the memory speed is going to be 16 gigabits per second which is literally a 60 percent increase on last year's memory uh band memory speed the memory bandwidth is 512 once again 60 percent increase there uh tdp is going to be 170 to 200 watts which doesn't impress me uh q q3 july launch msrp 699 look when we were talking about vault when we were talking about vega and everybody's getting up, uh, getting hyped about vega um i threw cold water on every fire that i heard of my friends talking about vega and how good vega was vega was never going to be good and we knew it. the writing was on the wall from a long way off and the writing's on the wall for this going to be a ba essentially a die shrunk titan it's there in black and blue i'm saying black and blue because the, the article is black and blue it's there in black and white right it's like the the it has the same amount of CUDA cores as a Titan. It's around the same size. It's been shrunk a bit. The the TDP is higher than the last year's 1080. Uh, it's it's got a lot faster memory, which is going to make some sort of a difference because it will prevent the GPU from bottling. The core speed is not high enough for that amount of CUDA cores to give you the amount of performance that most people would expect from a generational increase in GPUs, especially one that took two fucking years to come out two years to come out and this is and it's still not out yet by the way this is just a leak um like if you look at the last like if you look at last year's titan xp right uh it, it it was it was uh 12 teraflops 12.1 teraflops of compute performance that thing overclocked like a dream by the way and it had 3840 kilocuts it's not even going to be faster than a titan with an overclock it's not even going to be close to faster than a titan with an overclock the Titan overclock is going to slap its dick all around this thing's face because it's got more stream processors. It seems to like like this, the Titan to clocks just as well. Like there's not going to be much of a difference in clock speed, I wouldn't say. Like, oh man, this is just this is upsetting. And I I'm, I like, you know, I, I hate to say it, but like this thing's going to be expensive. It's going to be like it's going to be 700 quid. It says it's going to be 699 MSRP. I don't believe that. I think it's going to be more expensive than that. If it is that, it's going to be like 699 MSRP and then uh, 799 for fucking the Frontier Edition. If you look at, look, this is the key key one here. I've got, I've, I've loaded up uh, GTX uh, 980s teraflops, right? So the GTX 980s single precision teraflop performance was 4.6 teraflops the gtx 980 ti was 5.6 teraflops and the gtx uh titan x x was 6.1 teraflops right that's that just just let's just pick a number any number 
and just go with it, right? So 6.1 teraflops was the Titan. So that was what the Titan was. And then the 1080 came out and that was nearly 9 teraflops. 8.7 teraflops. So closer to 9 than it is to 8, right? That's what happened there. So why would you expect this card to be a big upgrade? It's not going to be a big upgrade. When, like last year... Well, not last year, two years ago, when the the 1080 came out, it was, it had, like, what, 30% more teraflops than the Titan. This thing doesn't even have 10% more teraflops, and it's clocking similarly, so you can probably get the Titan up past it. So, uh, it's it's just, it's it, it rings of, like, uh, we're we're even trying to drop down another tier to you like this 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 smells to me like this should be the, the 1070 do you know what i mean this this really should be this year's 1070 and they're, they're just trying to cut down even more that's, that rings to me save more profits for the shareholders lads i'm telling you that's what's going to be you're going to probably see um what you call it pask uh, ampere come out and ampere is going to have like four thousand something stream processors and that's going to be just for fucking um for like uh miners like i don't i i really don't know at this sta this stage what nvidia is doing like because they, they can do this because this card's going to come out and it's going to be 25 30 percent faster than than a, a vega card so I, what, yeah and, and amd have no answer till like pff, last next year so why not do this and then keep all your other cards in reserve like why why not why not why not you can do whatever you want i suppose your company but this is not this is not a generational upgrade. This is not something that you waited two years for. The real upgrade, let's be honest, it should have been GV104. It was GV104. That, I guarantee you, would have been an upgrade. It would have been a 60% upgrade. But it's not GV104. It's GT. Right? Maybe they changed their name and schemes around. Maybe it, it, it is what we were getting all along. I don't think so. I think there's there's like there's loads of Cynican out there now. I think there's like fucking five dies. I don't I don't know how many dies, different different processes they have, different chips they have. But now at this at this stage, I I don't know. This is exactly what I was fearful of. When when NVIDIA don't have any any competition, they're gonna keep lowering the performance of their card. Anybody who's impressed by those specs is is, is sorely mistaken. And I want to give you something else. I keep getting this into, into oh, but it's gonna have G uh, Nvidia RT, uh, RTX that 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 ray tracing technology with the tensor cores and all this stuff. And it keeps saying tensor cores, tensor cores. Tensor cores don't make your game faster, lads. They don't. And I don't care what anybody says in the in the comments. I don't care what anybody does. What ray tracing? What ray tracing will need tensor cores? Yes. Okay. Right. Ray tracing will need tensor tensor cores. But that is just like a setting you will turn on in the game. NVIDIA Ray Tracing, turn it on. And the Tensor Cores do that. And that's probably not even going to be in this chip. Because the die is not fucking big enough to hide it. To put, put it in there. Where are they going to put them? If they do, they're probably going to put 32 of them in. Or something like that. They're going to put shag all of them in. Like, the tight... The... The... the the, ti the Titan V, two of them t took to render those those demos you've seen at the last uh, NVIDIA conference. It took two of them to run that. To, to live stream that. So if you think that these cards are going to come out and automatically give you that level of graphic fidelity, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, the technology is not there yet. It is there, yeah, but NVIDIA is putting it behind a massive paywall of $3,000 feckin' dollars, man. So, like, that's, that's what, like, let's be honest, let's be clear, that card is going to be slower than you think it is. It is going to be a smaller increment than the last, in, the last increase like 980 to 1080 it's going to be much slower than that it will be faster it will probably be the fastest card in the world it, when you clock for clock both cards it will be but it's going to be by maybe five ten percent it's not going to be like by a massive amount the G gddr uh, 6 will make a huge difference because a lot of the gpus now are choking that's the reason why v uh, vega has uh hbm it's the reason why volta has hbm uh, and it's the reason why they're going GDDR6. But GDDR6 is expensive. It's more efficient. It's better. But why does it have 170 70 watt TDP? Like, I mean, the GTX 170 to 200 watts. Like, the GTX 1080 had 180 watts TDP. Like, I... I, I, I I can't. But that has to be. That has to be wrong. Like it just has to be wrong. Okay, they can't. They can't be selling us this. If they're selling us this, oh man. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like. Yeah, I'm disappointed. If that's going to be the GTX 1080. 
then for me they've moved down a step again so the gtx 10 uh, gtx 1180 sorry that's going to be the gtx 1180 for me they've moved down a step again so in other words they moved down a tier again they're giving the consumers their flagship card which which would normally be a 10 1180 is now a 1170 renamed to 1080 or 1180 so they've they've jumped down another step again so before the titan was your 1080 then it was like maybe a titan the, the ti level was your 1080 um see this is going to be confusing so before they did the big the best card was the 1080 the second best card was the 10 7 10 8 that was there was the 10 like the 60 so 80 60 uh 50 you know or gt or whatever the hell they did with it now it's ti is the best one for gaming titan is the the ultimate unlocked core sorry for kicking the camera i and they what they've done over time is they've slowly moved the the 80 version down to lower cord dies with lower clock speeds cut down versions of the main die to a point where now you're getting mid-tier performance and paying a high tier price and for me i think that's what's going to happen again we're going to get mid-tier performance at a high tier price but we're going to get low like lower mid-tier performance for high tier price like this is this is just sad sorry for getting all upset sorry for but it's just it, it's all of my predictions coming through uh like before last year it was a 60 percent increase now it's about a 40 percent increase <sighs> yeah it's kind of sad is it even a 40 percent increase probably 35 percent i don't know and that's just gone by teraflops look the, the ddr6 could offset some of that could be i could be wrong it could be amazing it could clock to feckin 2500 megahertz and then i look like an eejay but i don't think i will be i don't think i will be and will you stop talking about uh tensor cores tensor cores do nothing for games nothing nothing absolutely nothing there is no ray tracing technology in any games now so like it does nothing for games so stop holding your up your hopes for them making the games faster it's not going to do it it's not going to make your games faster it, it might add a bit of eye candy to some games in the future but it's not going to make your games faster like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it i know it's going to be loads of these and yeah whatever yeah so dislike it if you disliked it and in the comments yeah tell me what you think about this is it disappointing is it disappointing to you as it is to me uh, like i wanted this to be a short video i want to just tell you about specs and tell you that you're getting ripped off but this is uh, uh, do you know i'm just upset i only i only got up and read this that, that literally got up read this and did a video <sighs> hence the lazy man hoodie man that's why just 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 tired and annoyed right Talk to you next one, lads. I'm going to press this button to turn it off. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.